Oh, nice, nice. Whoa. What is up guys, welcome back to yet another episode of AJBM Fishing. So today we are here again at Pulau Bin. So I'll be making my way to our previous spot to catch some barramundi. And I'll be guiding you all on how to use a float rig to catch barramundi uh, at Pulau Bin. Especially in the mangrove areas of Ubin. So now I'm making my way to the spot and I'll see you guys there. So we have reached the spot and it looks like someone is already casting net so we need to start uh, gearing up and start casting immediately so we can land more fish so I'll see you guys in a few minutes and tight lines so if you guys are not sure what is a float rig I'll be guiding you all on how to set up your rig so we have a float here which is connected to the main shrivel of your main line and you need to hook your main leader for today's tide is 0.4 so i'm actually uh, using a 600 mm leader line or 60 cm to actually uh, catch brahmandi so actually the leader line differ on what is the height of the tide so for today's tide i use a 600 mm which is 60 cm and let's see if we can catch barramundi using this rig so this will be our first cast i'm just gonna drop it right here so if you don't have any uh rod mount you need to set your drag very loose in case a fish actually take your bait so I'll be putting my rod at this branch and in case any fish pulls, my rod won't fly. So as you can see the prawn started swimming and it, I hope it attracts some barramundi that looks around this area. And I'll be setting up my second rod. So this is how I rig my prawn. Just hook it up like this, facing towards you. And yeah, you are good to go. So the prawn can swim freely. And I'll be casting over the other side right here. At the entrance or at the outlet of this mini pond. So maybe around this area, there's some barramundi lurking around. So as you can see guys, our line are all in the water. So I'm not sure if this location hasn't been wiped out by the net casters. And I'm just hoping that we can land uh, some barmandi. So if you noticed earlier about the float rig, it's quite simple and very effective to actually land barmandi. Especially during low tide, in this kind of condition where the water is really very low and the uh, barramundis are actually stranded in these mini pools of water so looking at the other side right here I believe there are no more fish at this place because the net caster has already wiped out the <laughs> fish at this location so most likely I'm not casting any of my line at this place and let's see how it goes at this mini pond right here because it looks untouched and I believe they haven't actually gone at this place to cast net let's hope for it if it sinks it's barmandi so the culprit that have been eating our bait is actually this it's a glass fish Okay, something just pulled our float. Oh, looks like it's a barmandi, guys. Looks like we are we caught one fish. Still swimming away. I hope it sinks again. It means we 
Uh, yeah, I think we lost the fish, guys. Most likely, we lost the fish. Oh, nice, nice. Whoa. One, one para. Oh, nice. Oops, yeah. All right, guys. Our first fish. Good size. As you can see, the float rig is actually quite effective. Oh, man. It looks like you swallow the prawn. So we... We have a tool to actually uh, remove the hook from the fish mouth. So I bought this on AliExpress and let's test it. Hmm, it works guys. It works. So, our first barra of the day. Nice, nice fish. Very beautiful. So at this location right here, uh, the shallows are the best areas where you can cast your float rig. Cause uh, the barmandi tend to actually roam around these shallow waters to hunt for prey. So, as you can see, two of my floats are just right here. I caught the barmandi at that near the pool area right there. So my float actually went in a very weird location. Actually just just now from there and swam at that place. So maybe the barmandi had swallowed the prawn and it's just chilling at that place. So let's see if we caught any fish by setting the hook. Man hope we got another one oh, yes just caught another one guys Ooh, what fish is this huh what the f is this a tilapia hmm? this is weird guys Don't know what fish is this. Does anyone know what fish is this? Looks like a tilapia to me, but hmm. So does anyone know what fish is this? For me, it looks like a tilapia, guys. Oh, very nice fish. So before the tides finally goes in, I think I can do a bit of salvaging. So you got a float rig right here. Wow, looks nice. So you got one. As you can see there are a few more right there, but I don't think I'll be able to go to that place and take those. Sometimes there are lure hanging around these mangrove areas, but they are too dangerous to take. So time now is uh, 1.37 p.m. So far we caught two fish and the other fish I'm not really sure what is it, so I release it. As you can see, the pond now is getting filled with water. And we have zero prawns to use. The last two prawns are on the line. Hoping we can still land a few more barramandi before we go. So let's see how it goes. Alright guys, we have come to the end of our fishing adventure here at Lobin. So as you can see, the float rig is very effective on catching barramandi, especially during low tide. 
and for boat wise it's a different scenario because usually you use a polo rigs for that so for mangrove uh, low tide kind of uh, environment float rig does really works and you can actually land a lot of barramundi using this rig so if you guys notice during low tide uh, around Ubin there's a lot of these uh, tiny ponds where you can actually use uh, this float rig to actually land these uh, beautiful fish so if you guys uh, want to learn more about this rig I'll be putting the detailed diagram of this uh, rig in the description below so you guys can download it and build your own rig so you guys can catch your own Baramandi at Pulau Bin. and I hope you guys enjoy the video if you enjoy the video give it a like and if you haven't subscribed to my channel do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Tight lines everyone!